students, today we will discuss about the Newton's third law of motion, the law of interaction, or the action and reaction forces. The most essential learning competency is infer that when a body exerts a force on another, an equal amount of force is exerted back on it. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain Newton's third law of motion in their own words. Identify and correctly label action-reaction pairs in different real-world situations and apply Newton's third law to solve problems and predict the behavior of objects when forces are involved. Newton's third law of motion is a fundamental principle in physics that helps us understand how objects interact with each other. It states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In simpler terms, when one object exerts a force on another object, the second object exerts an equal force in the opposite direction. This law has important implications for understanding motion, forces, and the behavior of objects in the physical world. The Newton's third law of motion, or the law of interaction, states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Please bear in your mind that action and reaction forces are always equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. This means that if object A exerts a force of 10 newtons to the right on object B, object B will exert a reaction force of 10 newtons to the left on object A. To illustrate the statement of the law, we use these examples. When we walk, our feet push backward on the ground. In this case, let's consider this push as the action force. In response to this action force, the ground pushes our feet forward. This force by the ground against our feet is the reaction force allowing us to move forward. When we sit on the chair, our body exerts a downward force on the chair. This is the action force. And the chair exerts an equal upward force on our body. This is the reaction force supporting our weight. In this example, action-reaction forces maintain the body at rest. Rockets work based on Newton's third law. The exhaust gases are expelled backward. This is the action force. And the rocket moves forward, the reaction force, in the opposite direction. When we swim, we push the water backward with our hands and feet, and the water pushes us forward, propelling us through the water. Forces always occur in pairs. It is essential to understand that forces always occur in pairs, and these pairs are often called action-reaction pairs. In any interaction between two objects, both objects experience forces, and these forces are always equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Newton's third law helps explain why objects move. If there is an unbalanced force acting on an object, it will accelerate in the direction of the net force. In a simple experiment, one can inflate a balloon and then release it. Observing how the air rushing out in one direction propels the balloon in the opposite direction. This experiment vividly illustrates Newton's third law where the action of air escaping the balloon creates an equal and opposite reaction causing the balloon to move. The classic Newton's cradle with its swinging metal balls visually demonstrates action and reaction forces. When one ball strikes the others, it transfers its momentum and an equal number of balls swing out in the opposite direction, illustrating the conservation of momentum. In rocket lands, a downward action expulsion of exhaust gases leads to the rocket upward reaction. The forces exerted is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Real-life scenarios such as sports, transportation, and space travel apply the concepts of the third law of motion. Common concepts such as the idea that forces always lead to motion. 
Forces can cause changes in motion or may the object to accelerate but can also lead to balance forces when objects are at rest or moving at constant velocity. Understanding Newton's third law of motion is crucial in explaining the behavior of an object in the physical world. It helps us comprehend why objects move and interact the way they do. This law is not only fundamental in physics, but also has practical applications in various fields, from rocket science to sports. A short task, applying what you've learned about the third law of motion, provide an explanation to the following situations, such as the recoil of a gun when it fires, the way a car starts grip the road to propel it forward, or how astronauts move in space by pushing off space walls.